Uh, dear students, uh, welcome to uh, the lecture number three of uh, the environment and natural environmental and natural resource economics. I'm Dr. Jangarez Khan, uh, your teacher for the subject environmental and natural resource economics. Uh, today we will discuss uh, uh, in detail the two topics: uh, the property rights and the strategy of uh, commons. So uh, let us start the first topic: uh, the property rights and uh, the host theorem. Uh, um, uh, before going into detail of uh, the property rights, uh, let us first discuss the market fear, failure, uh, an important uh, topic uh, relevant to uh, the property rights. Uh, a market failure occurs when the market does not allocate scarce resources to generate the greatest social welfare. Means a market uh, is uh, uh, considered uh, failed uh, when the market is uh, when when it is uh, uh, not uh, educating resources in a way that the uh, maximum social welfare is attained uh, which exists between what a private person does given the market prices and what the society uh, might want him or her to do to protect the environment uh, talking about the environment uh, that uh, there a wedge exists between what a private person a mill owner a land owner uh, um, uh, an orchard owner uh, does given the market prices and uh, the uh, what the society might want to him and what the society expect from him in order to protect the environment such a which implies wastefulness or economic inefficiency resources can be reallocated to make at least one person better off without making any well uh, anyone uh, worse off if you want to increase the social welfare, then it is one of the criteria that uh, the resources may be reallocated in such a way that uh, it may uh, uh, it may make one, at least one person better off without uh, uh, making anyone worse off. Means that the uh, activity, uh, the business activity, may not be at the cost of the uh, uh, other party. The example of market failure is habitat destruction and threats to biological diversity on uh, earth we discussed uh, the habitat destru uh, destruction and uh, the biological diversity uh, threat to di biological diversity in uh, the previous lecture uh, when we were discussing the environmental problems uh, of the planet that the human activities are damaging the biological uh, diversity uh, it uh, the humans are uh, uh, destroying the uh, habitats for uh, a number of uh, species of the world and uh, the result is that we are uh, uh, having less and less of uh, some of the uh, very rare uh, species and we have lost uh, a number of species uh, on this uh, uh, planet. Biological diversity contributes to productivity act as insurance and is a warehouse for genetic knowledge. We uh, can uh, explain the uh, the the market failure with the help of an uh, example. Uh, Madagascar is uh, uh, a, a very good example. Uh, it is uh, ecological uh, ecologically uh, rich uh, island, and uh, economically it is uh, a poor. And biologic biologists uh, estimate that about seventy five percent of the uh, two lakh species found on, uh, on the Madagascar are unique. Out of these, about 98% of the uh, palm species and 93% of uh, the primates, 80% of the flowering plants, 95% of our reptiles, 99% of frogs, and 89% of carnivores are found uh, here. Out of these rare species, more than uh, 12 million people live in uh, on the Madagascar, uh, out of which uh, half of the population is below 15 years of age. With annual income of uh, U.S. Uh, uh, dollars 800 uh, uh, per annum, policymakers have a desire to uh, implement policies that can increase the welfare of the citizens. And uh, moreover, um, on this island, the irrigation provides 85% of employment and uh, to the, its masses, and people are increasing private wealth by converting forest land to agriculture which has altered the habitat for many species. As we discussed that we, the, the, the Madagascar has a large number of uh, the very rare species of uh, uh, the world 
and uh, the people uh, there is poverty because we see a very low uh, per capita income uh, due to poverty what the people do that they uh, they are converting the forest lands uh, they are destroying the forest in order to get land for the agriculture uh, and uh, this uh, dis uh, conversion of uh, the forest into agricultural land has destroyed uh, the habitat for a large number of species in this diagram uh, we see uh, is the, the the different types of the species 89 uh, 98% 98%, 97%, 99%, 95%, 85%, 90% 80% 93% of the different uh, uh, species deforestation has occurred about uh, uh, 2 lakh hectares per year similarly as discussed earlier that due to the poverty what the people are doing they are destroying the forests in order to learn the livelihood and uh, about uh, two lake uh, uh, hectares of deforestation is occurring every year in the Madagascar when nearly 80% of the original forest, uh, original forest cover already gone it has uh, 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 they have converted a large uh, proportion of the uh, original forest, forest uh, to the agricultural land Market fair exists when the prices of the timber, agriculture and land do not provide an incentive to curtail habitat destruction because diverse biodiversity is a public good. We know that biodiversity is a public good and if uh, the, the deforestation continues, uh, the people get the timber, the people get uh, uh, land for the agriculture. Uh, if all these do not uh, uh, compensate uh, for the uh, damage to the biodiversity, then it is an example of the market failure. Uh, but because biological uh, biodiversity provides a public good to people because its goods and services are non rival and non excludable life support, water filtration, pollination, etc. Biodiversity is non rival in the sense that the benefits of uh, the protection are not diminished. Uh, for others by uh, one person's use and it is not exclusive in that it is too costly to conclude uh, to exclude people from getting the benefits of the uh, protection it is non rival because uh, uh, if uh, the forest provide uh, a clean and healthy environment uh, to one person the other person is not deprived of uh, it Similarly, it is not possible or it is very costly to exclude uh, a person from uh, the benefits of this uh, forest. As a result, market prices for timber agriculture do not capture the social benefits uh, provided by the diversity, uh, biodiversity. Means that uh, the people who uh, destroy the forest, uh, the, the, uh, the farmers who destroy the forest in order to get the timber and uh, agriculture, uh, they do not get enough price, in, enough income for uh, these deforestation, uh, which may uh, compensate the uh, biodiversity. These commodity prices reflect the supply and demand for certain attributes of the market goods uh, at the expense of the biodiversity and social welfare. After discussing the uh, market failure, uh, we uh, uh, come to the property rights and uh, uh, here I would like to quote the Emerson uh, quotation about the uh, pro which, which point out the uh, property rights. The charming landscape which I saw this morning is in uh, indirectly made up of some 20 or 30 farms. Miller owns this field. Look that Manning the woodland beyond, but none of them owns the landscape. This is the property in the horizon which no man has, but he whose eye can integrate all the parts that is the poet. This is the best part of the, the these men's farms, and yet to their land and uh, deeds, uh, give them no title. Means that uh, these farms are uh, different farms are owned by the different owners. But none of uh, these uh, uh, is owned. Uh, 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 none of the, uh, but but all these farms provide a landscape, a beautiful view, and that beautiful view is uh, not uh, the property of uh, any one. That is uh, the uh, common property. 
the property rights, uh, the manner in which the producers and, cons uh, the producers and consumers use environmental resources depends on property rights governing those resources. Property rights are uh, theoretically socially enforced constructs in economics for determining how a resource or economic good is used and owned. Property rights uh, give the right uh, to use, uh, we are discussing uh, in detail in the coming lectures, uh, in the coming slides, that uh, these uh, give the right to a person to use a resource or an economic good and uh, which he owns. Property right uh, refers to a bundle of the entitlement entitlements defining the owner's rights, privileges and limitation for the use of this resource. Uh, uh, the, 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 I think it is clear. By examining such entitlements and how they affect the human behavior, it can better be understood how environmental problems arise from the government and market allocation. The property right can be vested either with individuals or in capitalist economy with the state as in a centrally planned socialist economy. The property right, uh, rights uh, of uh, the uh, environmental commodity uh, differ from, person, uh, from, from a single person to a group of the people or uh, to the government or to the state as well. Uh, it can be defined as a set of the rules specifying the use of a scarce resource or goods. The person who has the property right of uh, a scarce resource uh, he is uh, uh, authorized to use that good in the way he wants to use it. The set of rules includes obligations and rights. The rules may be classified by law or they may be institutionalized by other mechanisms such as social norms uh, uh, together with the pattern of the sanctions. The property rights may be defined over a wide range of uh, specific resources. The resources can be owned by uh, um, individuals, associations, collectives, or governments. As I discussed in the previous slide that uh, the uh, resources, uh, the, 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 the property rights uh, uh, may be granted to the individuals or to the associations or to the collectives or to the state, uh, depending on the nature of the resource. The property, property right has four broad components as given below, the right to use good, the person, the group, the association, or the government uh, having the property right of the good, uh, he has the right to, he, uh, he or they have the right to use that good. The right to earn income from that good, yes, if a resource is uh, owned by state or by uh, an individual, uh, he can also, uh, also, also uh, earn income from uh, the use of this uh, uh, particular good. The right to transfer the good to the others, alter it, abandon it or destroy it. And the right to enforce the property right. How the property rights approach suggests that if exclusive property rights are adequately defined, the public good uh, and environmental, the public good, for example, we, we can say the uh, environmental quality uh, can be the environmental quality can be transformed into private good and optimal allocation will be reached. Government intervention if necessary is needed only in assigning the property uh, titles. This means that uh, uh, by uh, granting the property rights uh, the, we, we can protect, uh, we can, we can uh, uh, cure for the market failure. The 1960 here distinguishes four types of the property uh, rights, exclusive, exclusive property rights. The exclusive property right is the right of disposal and right to destroy the source, notably the right of sale. If the person who has the property right, uh, exclusive property right, uh, he has the right to dispose of the resource, uh, to right, he has the right to destroy the resource uh, not even the right sale. But even in this exclusive form of the ownership uh, is controlled by a set of the rules which protect other individuals or maintain economic uh, values. Uh, means that uh, you have the right to destroy it but nobody does so because uh, uh, if you have 
you are the homeowner, you have a very good garden, you will never destroy this garden. You have the right to use it, but you can't. You will never do it. It is in the norms. In cities, we are not allowed to burn garbage on our property. Similarly, we, in, in, in the urban areas, uh, if we own our own property, we have our own property, we have the right to use uh, this property, but uh, under certain rules, you are not allowed to uh, to, to burn gar garbage on it uh, because uh, the uh, Environmental Protection Agency uh, has uh, uh, also imposed some regulations which we'll have to follow. If there is a mineral well near uh, the, lo uh, the lot you own, you may not be permitted to build a factory on your property. The second type uh, of the property rights uh, uh, which is uh, explained by the deals is status or functional ownership. The status or functional ownership uh, property rights refers to a set of rights accorded to some individuals but not to others. In this case, the right to use an object or to receive a service is very often non-transferable. Non non Examples of this type of the right include licenses to drive a taxi or uh, notarized documents, a right to use a public utility, uh, a highway or a public good. Another example. Similarly, uh, the third uh, type of the uh, property uh, rights are the common property resources. Uh, it uh, represents de facto a non property because uh, nearly no exclusion is defined. It is a common resources. Property rights may be transferable or they may be limited to a specific person or status. In terms of property rights approach, uh, the basic question of the economics can be uh, posted. Uh, how are property rights uh, be defined so that the economic system generates optimal results? You know that we, uh, in economics, we believe and we expect and we work for the optimal results. So, uh, the uh, economists they they care for uh, too they take too much care while defining the. Uh, property rights uh, uh, because uh, they are interested in such type of the uh, rights uh, which may allow, uh, allow the economic system to give the optimal results. Proper, no, coming to property rights and environmental allocation, what are the implications of property rights approach for the environmental problem if uh, the property uh, rights are uh, granted to uh, but they, they, the property rights are granted to individuals, uh, to the state, uh, to the associations, to the communities, then whether, uh, what will be its, its, its effect of these uh, rights on environmental uh, problems. Historically, property rights have not been defined for the use of environment. Under such conditions, markets cannot fulfill the education function and the resulting structure of production is distorted. For instance, if fish of oceans are treated as a common property resource, this resource is overused. A number of uh, the uh, resources, uh, uh, the pro problems, uh, uh, environmental problems are there uh, because uh, sometimes the uh, oceans are considered as a uh, treated as a common property, and we see that uh, there is overfishing, uh, which is uh, a big environmental problem. We discussed uh, in the lecture number two that uh, we have uh, uh, we have lost uh, a large number of uh, species of uh, the fish different uh, already its resources are have been exhausted it has been pointed out that the, the the growing desert of uh, the sahel region in africa is due to the non existence of the property rights uh, this is another example that uh, a region in the uh, africa uh, where there were no property rights and everybody mis uh, misused uh, that uh, uh, re re region and uh, converting it into the desert. A result of heavy fighting among the migrating tribes over many years, a complex system of using the land as a common property has emerged that has not cont uh, contained elements for the conservation of the natural resources. Parts of uh, Northern uh, Africa were the granary of Roman Empire after property rights were changed into a common property uh, pasture system by the Arabs in the 16th century and uh, the conservation of the land uh, generate, degenerated. The property rights approach requires that uh, the property rights for using the uh, environmental uh, environment should be more clearly defined and that is the character of the property be changed.
because uh, we often see uh, that uh, in case of the common property uh, we we see exhaustion uh, in the in the resources and uh, we often uh, um, face the tragedy of commons one way of the introducing a price and redefining property right is uh, to introduce an emission tax another way, way would be to auction the pollution licenses Finally, the government could specify maximum emission per firm, which would be empty set uh, a firm a price a price uh, empty set a price on pollutants. There may be a second implication of the property right approach. Is it possible to define property right in such a way that the public good environmental quality can also be transformed into private good? The good public goods approach to environmental problem motivates a government intervention since the market does not provide public goods. The property rights approach maintains uh, that uh, in many uh, cases, uh, many cases involving public uh, goods, private pro property rights can be uh, defined. This was uh, something about the uh, property rights that uh, through property rights we can uh, protect uh, some of the uh, resources and uh, in in case of uh, non-existence of the proper uh, uh, property rights that, that is the uh, common property uh, case we we can face uh, the uh, tragedy of commons Cause theorem. One of uh, the basic results of the property right approach to environmental allocation has been proposed by Cole 1960. Uh, the, the theorem said that uh, there is uh, a disagreement about property rights. Those parties concerned uh, can find a way to come to a mutually beneficial outcome by means of bargaining or negotiating teams. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, that in order to uh, in order for the theorem to be utilized, there cannot be any cause involved in negotiating the solution. This is a uh, uh, we can we can explain it with the help of uh, an example. Uh, uh, coming in the coming slide, the cost theorem states, and uh, this is another statement of the theorem: Let exclusive property right uh, titles. To the environment be defined and let them be transferable. Let there is no transaction cost. Let individuals maximize their uh, utilities and let them characteristic then a bargaining solution uh, among a bargaining solution among different uh, users uh, of the environment will result in a pair to optimal location for the environment. This resulting allocation is independent of the initial uh, distribution of uh, the property titles means suppose there are two parties and uh, uh, one party has uh, the right to use a resource and the other party has conflict over uh, the use of the same resource then in such case uh, according to cause uh, they can bargain uh, for the mutual uh, benefit and as a result a period of optimal allocation will be made. In case of environmental pollution, the Cosian approach uh, suggests that the optimal level of pollution can be achieved by an arbitrary assignment of the property right to either the polluter or to uh, the pollute. Suppose there are two firms, a paper mill and a fish hatchery. The problem between the two is the use of river. river. Suppose there is a river and uh, the water of this river is used by the fish hatchery. Uh, and the mill owner uh, also uh, have the problem of use of uh, the this uh, river water. Suppose the legal property right of the use of uh, river is given to the fish hatchery. The both of these, uh, the paper mill owner and uh, the fish hatchery, both they need this water, but the legal property uh, right of this river is with the fish hatchery. Using the uh, right, the fish hatchery can allow or deny the paper mill uh, for the use of the river. 
because it has the uh, property legal property right if the fish a fish has refused to use the river it is depicted by the point o uh, in this figure at point o the amount of waste emitted to the river from the paper will be zero at this there will be no uh, emission of the waste from the uh, this point uh, mill and uh, no uh, the, the, the initially the 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 fish hatchery has refused to use to allow the um, mill owner to use the uh, disposal of waste this mdc is uh, the minor damage cost and uh, this is the minor the minor cleaning cost uh, of uh, this uh, water the paper mill will have to use some of the other way to dispose of uh, 200 units of waste this is the 200 ways we, we measure it uh, this is the price and uh, on the x-axis we measure the uh, waste emission and uh, the mill owner needs to uh, dispose of about uh, 200 uh, units of uh, the waste uh, as defined the mdc is the marginal damage cost and mcc is the marginal cleaning cost uh, uh, if the waste disposal is less than uh, 110 units, we see here if it is less than these units, we see that uh, the MCC is uh, uh, greater than the MDC. Here, the MCC is uh, for, for this 70 we see MCC this much. And, and the the MDC this month the damage is this one the cleaning cost is this one so MDC uh, is 20 and uh, the pit uh, the you see here then the damage is uh, 20 the damage is 20 but uh, the bill owner will have to pay 50 the paper mill clearly will have clearly have an incentive to offer to bargain to the fish hatchery for the right to use the river. We see here that uh, the MCC is 50 and uh, the damage is uh, 20. So this uh, mill owner has the incentive to bargain because any incentive, uh, any price which is less than 50 is beneficial for the mill owner. To discharge the 70 units of the waste, the paper mill will be willing to pay the hatchery a fee between 20 and 50. Between this, uh, he, will be, he will be willing to pay. This would be acceptable for both parties. This will be acceptable for both parties. So both of them are better off. For hatchery, a payment exceeding two. Uh, uh, $20 is more than comp compensated for the damage caused to the fish operation for the dumping of the seven units of the waste into the river. The damage is 21 so uh, any price which is higher than this is beneficial for the hatchery uh, uh, owner and he will be willing to pay for, for this much for it uh, to, to get uh, whatever is uh, above the 20 and uh, the, uh, the the the, the uh, mill owner will be happy to pay less than 50 so a bargain is uh, uh, supposed by the cost theorem uh, will start and uh, this, barg this 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 bargaining uh, may uh, benefit both of them S uh, similarly this situation should be uh, advantageous to the uh, paper mill owner because the cost of uh, alternative technology to dispose of is the 70 unit this this uh, that uh, seven of this the uh, the cost is very higher. This situation could be for the people. This is it is fifty at least fifty. In in general, then uh, these two firms will be in position to engage in a mutual uh, beneficial transaction, uh, provided that uh, they the at this point where the negotiation is taking place. The minor cleaning cost is greater than the uh, minor damage cost. Uh, furthermore, the negotiation between these two parties uh, ceases 
when for the last unit of the waste charge by the paper mill, the MCC is uh, equal to the MDC. They will bargain till this point where MCC and MDC are equal. And uh, this is indeed the condition for the optimal uh, level of pollution. Uh, in figure, it is uh, uh, denoted by WE or 110 units. This this is the, uh, they will bargain till this point. Similarly, uh, the Gauss theorem uh, goes be uh, beyond the mere recognition of the optimality. It also states that this optimal outcome is completely independent of the two parties who have the right, uh, who have the right uh, uh, to the river. To demonstrate this, let us now consider that the case where the paper mill has exclusive legal right to the use of the uh, river. Under these circumstances, the paper mill, if wishes, can dispose of its waste into the river. The paper mill will discharge uh, uh, a total of 200 waste into the river. However, the company is uh, not limited to this option only. For each unit between 110 and uh, 200 units of the waste discharge, the MDC is greater than the MCC. We see here that uh, uh, he, 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 he can dispose of 200 units, but beyond uh, the 110 unit, we see that the minor damage, damage cost is greater than this uh, minor uh, cleaning cost, uh, the, 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 the damage is a uh, higher one. However, this uh, for each unit between this the waste discharge the MDC unit, this the situation will allow the fish hatchery and the paper mill to gain in mutual benefit uh, beneficial transaction. Similarly, now in order to get the clean water, the fish hatchery owner will have to pay because the right to use this water has uh, is with the paper mill owner now. To see uh, this, let us focus on what happens. Uh, when the emission is 140 units, this, this, we see that MCC is 15 and uh, the MDC is uh, 45. The damage is uh, greater than the cleaning cost. When uh, this unit of S is charged, the MDC to the fish hatchery is 45. But the cost to the paper mill uh, for treating this same is 15. Note that 15 is the minor cost to the paper mill for the controlling the 16th unit of the uh, emission. Thus, when the uh, emission level is at 140 units, the MDC is greater than MCC. Given this, HD will have an incentive to offer a financial bribe to the paper mill, anyone between the 15 and 45 uh, to withhold the uh, unit of waste. We see here that uh, MCC is this one, damage is this one. So uh, the bargaining start between uh, the paper mill owner who has uh, the right to use uh, this resource and uh, uh, the uh, fish hatchery owner because uh, the damage is too high. So any compensation, any any bargaining less than 45 uh, between, uh, between 15 and 45 uh, will be acceptable to the both parties. Tragedy of Commons. Uh, tragedy of Commons is uh, uh, another, a, a very important uh, uh, environmental issue, and uh, we see that uh, uh, some resources are uh, misused, overused uh, uh, due to the non-existence of uh, the property rights. Uh, suppose that uh, there is a, a grazing ground which is a, a common pool of resources uh, a person a he 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 buys some animals uh, to graze on that uh, grazing ground uh, grazing area uh, with uh, seeing he, mr a uh, mr b also uh, do so and he purchases uh, some also purchases some animals then C, D, E 
and possibly some of the people may uh, increase uh, the number of animals in such a huge quantity that uh, the uh, that, that that area may be overgrazed and uh, uh, we will see the uh, we will lose that uh, grazing ground uh, or that uh, area uh, which is a tragedy uh, in our daily life we have also uh, seen we see uh, in pakistan the, uh, the 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 tap water public tap water and uh, you see the filtration house uh, filtration plants in the different uh, areas of the city uh, but after the mistreatment and misuse uh, of those plants uh, we see that often these are uh, uh, we, we lose them so coming to into the detail uh, in 180 uh, uh, the the huge population the growing population uh, is uh, consider, uh, considered as one of the reasons for uh, the tragedy of commons uh, in 1804 uh, after a wait of the a wait of uh, approximately 2 million years human population reached 1 1 billion in 1804 remember this is important uh, to note uh, for uh, you uh, the junior economists that uh, in 1804 uh, 250 years ago we had the world population is 1 billion and this 1 billion population was attained in 2 million years but after 133 years in 1927 it, to it topped to 2 billion means the population double world population doubled in just a span of 133 years the first billion took 2 million years, the second me, uh, billion took just 133 years. And 33 years later in 1960, and just after 33 years, we added another 1 billion. The first billion in 2 million years, the second billion in 133, uh, 123 years, and uh, the third billion in just 33 years. In 1974, just uh, 14 years after 1960, another billion was added, uh, reaching the world population to uh, 4 billion. Similarly, this uh, fourth billion was added in ju for just 14 years. But in the next 13 years, the, the period is uh, shortening. In 1987, it was five billion, uh, five five billion, and then in a shorter period of 12 years, it was six billion. And you know that now we have uh, more than seven and a half billion population, uh, which is uh, we discussed in the previous class that. Uh, uh, by 2050, uh, it will cross the nine uh, figure of the uh, 9.5 billion. Population uh, is a big problem because the increased population has severe impact on the planet. Uh, we discussed in the previous class that uh, there is a large number of environmental problems are generated by the overpopulation. Extra people uh, take extra demands on food, water, and energy supply, and their activities cause environmental damage. Because in order to get more and more food, in order to get more, use more and more water, the water is polluted, the environment is polluted, the, it is very become difficult to supply the energy to uh, all these populations. So it is important to understand what or who is causing the problem, and perhaps thereby uh, determine what, if anything, can be done about it. Hardin claims that population problem has a, a special structure. It is a commons problem, and that the structure uh, remorselessly, uh, remor uh, remor remorselessly generates tragedy. The tragedy is that, left to their own devices, people have large families, causing misery to the, themselves and their communities, and untold damage to the environment. It is a tragedy that is uh, the population increases, the family size increases. We have huge 
uh, family size, the larger families, uh, which is not only a problem for the household but and for the community, but also uh, environmental damage. That is, you see, overcrowding cities, overcrowding streets, uh, which is uh, severely damaging, damaging the environment. Hardin sees the problem as one primarily caused by and affecting uh, those in the developing nations. Uh, third, he, he, he argues that the only available resources are severe. The concept of uh, the tragedy of commons uh, was uh, developed uh, in 1968 uh, uh, by, in a paper by biologist Garrett Hardin. The tragedy of commons can be traced back to the Aristotle who noted that what is common to the greatest number has the least care bestowed upon it. Go 2008. Uh, this was studied by Go uh, 2018. This was uh, studied by Go 2018. Uh, and, uh, a statement of the Aristotle. The theory of common describe how common excess, excess sheep grazing pasture will degrade as each individual herder seeks to improve their own outcome by increasing their own sheep numbers, while the common pasture becomes overgrazed. This was a stated a paper of the Hardin 1968 that uh, the procedure of common st starts when there is a common uh, grazing pasture, as I uh, discussed in the beginning of the lecture, that uh, we have a common uh, grazing pasture and uh, the, herd, the, the, herd, herders, uh, the herders, individual herders, seeks uh, to increase the number of sheep in order to uh, get more and more outcome, get more and more income. So uh, the other hunter will come, the other person will come, the other person will come. So often uh, the this pasture will be overgrazed and uh, possibly we may lose this pasture. Human have modified most aspects of the uh, terrestrial phase of the world hydrological uh, cycle. Consum consum uh, consumptive water use hydroelectric power generation, flood engineering, deforestation, agriculture, urbanization all contribute to altered water regimes in the river channels, groundwater, uh, aquifers, wetland and uh, the estuaries. We are using the water, we are misusing the water. Similarly, the burden of the power generation, the power of uh, the deforestation and uh, the, the agriculture urbanization all 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 all, all affect the water resources uh, on this planet these hydrological uh, pressures are often accompanied by uh, disturbances to water quality and uh, riparian vegetation barriers to the movement of uh, the uh, aquatic biota within the years uh, within the rivers and uh, the channel engineering aquatic ecosystems freshwater biodiversities are in decline in worldwide and it is a uh, uh, well known factor acceptable factor uh, and literature also su support the view that we are losing the fresh water and uh, the ecosystem with a very rapid speed similarly the uh, pressures and impacts are expected to increase with shifting climates and environmental change means that uh, we have destroyed too much of our water resources uh, and the, 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 this destruction has not stopped this is continued this is continued no surprisingly human societies have constantly experienced the strategy of commons and struggled to preserve the common resources against it Similarly, the communal ownership of the resources lead to their exhaustion. Exhaustion, exhaustion of the resources occur when the communities uh, use the resources, and often we see 
the overuse of the resources. For each individual, it makes sense to use as much of the communal resources as possible. Everybody in the community will use uh, uh, more and more the resources for his personal use. And if they use less, there is still a tendency to exhaust the resources since everybody else would continue to maximize their own advantage. When we talk about the common resources, uh, in case of the common resources, everybody tries to maximize his own advantage. Uh, he wants to uh, maximize his own benefit, derives a maximum of his benefit, uh, leaving nothing for the environment, leaving then nothing for the humanity, for the planet. No inbuilt uh, mechanism to preserve the common exists, especially not in times of the crisis. A similar argument was uh, put forward in the 18th century and 19th centuries when the agrarian reformers and uh, the landowners tried to abolish the uh, still existing commons. In the recent uh, environmental debate, in the recent environmental uh, debate, this notion has gained renewed uh, prominence. The attribution of fish stocks in oceans or the pollution of water and soil and air are seen as the proof that communal, that is free goods, tend to be exploited. We see that uh, the water is uh, free. We are misusing the uh, river water. We are misusing the oceans. We are, mis we are overfishing in the oceans. We are uh, uh, overusing the, uh, the, the, the rivers, the stocks. And the result is uh, the exhaustion of these resources, which is the tra tragedy of the commons. As a result, uh, the property rights are advocated, arguing that the private owners of the goods have inherent interest to guarantee their existence over a longer period of time. The property rights can protect uh, the tragedy of uh, the commons because if the product, the uh, property rights are given to the private uh, owners. They have the in incentive to use uh, uh, the resource in such a way that it may long, uh, that it may, may 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 exist for a longer period of time. We have the uh, some other uh, we can, you can, similarly you can have other examples from uh, our own society as well. In Two decades ago, we we there were a large number of birds who come, uh, Siberian birds, uh, who came in the winters to uh, our land to Pakistan, uh, and we often used to see it uh, on the sky in the evening time passing toward the other areas of uh, the country of Pakistan. Uh, these were migrating birds uh, uh, when came. They were treated adversely uh, by the uh, people and uh, uh, they were shot dead uh, through different ways and now we see very a few of them. Similarly, we see the uh, our hill stations, in, in our hill stations, uh, we see that the hill stations are overused and uh, they we see crowd there and uh, the environmental degradation. On the world level, the the bluefin uh, tuna, the bluefin tuna uh, population in the Atlantic Ocean and uh, the Mediterranean face a similar fate as that of the uh, Grand Banks cod, the species of the uh, the, the uh, types of the. Uh, the the fish uh, in 1960s fishermen realized that tuna populations were in danger and an international con convention for the conservation of the atlantic tuna formed in an effort to manage fish harvesting more sustainably this was a uh, body formed in order to protect the tuna unfortunately not every nation is a member of icc 80 or follows the uh, the uh, convention guidelines. All the members are not. All the countries are not member of uh, this forum, and they are not uh, bound to follow the guidelines. Instead, many nations continue to seek profit from large bluefin tuna, 
cases every year without uh, regard to the conservation and blue bluefin tuna uh, have already been fi uh, fished to extinction in the Lake Sea and Caspian Sea and perhaps the Atlant Atlantic blue, uh, bluefin tuna will also follow the same uh, will follow the same fate Uh, passenger pigeons, uh, this is also uh, as I discussed uh, in the example driven to the Pakistan. The, when, Europe, uh, when European arrived in North America, passenger pigeons migrated across the sky in huge numbers. As settlers uh, spread further into the continent, they began to clear the forest their passenger pigeons inhabit, uh, inhabited and eventually began to hunt the pigeons for food. These are uh, uh, the pigeons uh, from the Europe, they uh, used to migrate to uh, the North America. But uh, what happened that uh, uh, the deep body forestation uh, started uh, in North America uh, and the, these forests were the habitat for these uh, uh, migrating uh, passenger uh, uh, pigeons and after even not they only uh, 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 exploited they not only destroyed the forest but they also started hunting the uh, pigeons for food as we did in Pakistan in mid 1980s they caught massive number of pigeons in nets and sold the birds in cities as uh, a food resource by 1870, nearly all the passenger pigeons had been killed. Hunting limits were enacted in 1890, but it was too late. The passenger pigeon population could never, uh, couldn't recover. The last uh, known passenger pigeon died in 1914, uh, completing the extinction of the species because of the unsustainable hunting practices of the atmosphere. Earth atmosphere is another resource that everyone on the planet uses and abuses. We, this earth, the, the, planet, the earth planet is uh, a common resource. Air pollution and greenhouse gases from the various industries uh, in transportation increase, increasingly damage the, this valuable and shared resource. And in the tragedy of commons, the atmosphere offers some hope for a solution. More than once, international agreements have been recognized, uh, have recognized the importance of taking care of the atmosphere. Uh, one of the examples is the Kyoto Protocol, which attempted to bring the nations together in reducing the greenhouse gas emissions and slowing the global climate warming. But we see that in order to uh, uh, fetch the fruits of the uh, uh, industrialization and uh, more and more industries are uh, established more and more vehicles are in, uh, automobiles uh, are used around the world and we have uh, unlimited uh, gas exhaustion which is uh, damaging the ozone layer and uh, 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 causing the uh, global uh, climate forming multiple nations recognized that everyone had an interest in preserving this common resource for the future and agreed to look uh, beyond short-term gain a major self-interest to a sustainable future but uh, uh, the real proof is uh, uh, the, the proof is very rare national parks the parks are open to everyone without limits on uh, visitation but the parks themselves are limited common resource as the number of visitors increase, visits increases, the degradation of the degradation of the parks becomes more probable. Uh, the finite number of uh, parks, coupled with increasing visitation and population growth, makes conservation efforts very difficult. We have so many uh, national parks. We, we have Ayubia uh, National Park, where you see a pipeline track. But uh, the the uh, government is uh, trying to to. Uh, uh, recover to to uh, mint uh, to to maintain the uh, quality of uh, that uh, park, but uh, there are very extreme uh, visits, and the number of the visits increases more and more. People move toward the Natya Gadi and uh, the Donga Gadi uh, Murray in those areas, 
and uh, uh, enough uh, environmental damage uh, is uh, given to the this national park. There can be uh, many remedies, uh, not limited to these four. One uh, you can uh, uh, you should go and uh, uh, review the literature uh, as your assignment for the um, finding the solution uh, for the tragedy of common problem. Government regulations, government regulation can limit the amount of the common good that is available for the use by any individual. Similarly, insurance permits, permits. Uh, system for the extractive economic activities including mining, uh, fishing, hunting, livestock raising and timber extraction are example of this approach. Uh, we, we, uh, an example is uh, if you go to Naran in the uh, uh, river Konhar, there is a trout fish but uh, net fishing is not allowed and uh, also uh, uh, the other ways of finishing you will have to get uh, the permit everybody is not allowed to uh, to to uh, hunt the uh, trout fish in that cold water uh, which is uh, one of the way to protect uh, the species government intervention limits to the pollution are example of the government intervention on behalf of the commons alternately resource users themselves can cooperate to conserve the resource in the name of mutual benefit uh, privatization is uh, another uh, solution for the tragedy of commons that if some of the resources are transformed uh, converted to uh, the private property uh, the, the 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 property will get a new owner and uh, the uh, private owner will at least uh, 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 for his own interest uh, uh, will try his best to preserve this uh, resource and uh, uh, they, they can uh, limit the number of the users and uh, uh, the right of use, to, uh, right of uh, uh, give the uh, permit to limit the number of uh, the people. Similarly, uh, public awareness uh, is uh, another uh, way, another guideline for the production of the tragedy of commons. So, thank you very much, uh, uh, dear students. Uh, to be, uh, uh, to be with, uh, to with me in this uh, top, uh, to hear me in this topic, and uh, I hope you will uh, review uh, literature, and I suggest you to review papers, uh, case studies uh, relevant to the tragedy of commons, as I also I have given to some of the students in the assignment. These are the different uh, uh, sources which have been used for the preparation of this uh, lecture, uh, including the Hagat 19, uh, Hagat 2006 book. Uh, similarly, the uh, Ahmad Hussain uh, 2004 book and uh, a chapter of the Kola, uh, Economics of Natural Resources uh, by Kola 1994 and some other uh, literature as well. You can use uh, these uh, references, the literature given these references uh, for the further study on the uh, topics discussed.